nice to be able to take them out there. Your Galston property. Yeah. 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 Because it's you know it's our property. It's, it's on my list. Home. Yeah. No. Are we recording? I'll be here. Hey guys. I feel it. Tom. John. Good. Sir. If we're six feet Feel apart, we can take off our masks, right? Yes, I'm taking mine off. Yeah, oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I get lightheaded. I try to pass out if I wear it too long. <laughs> Is it allowed to take them off? Yeah. Yeah, indoors you can, I think. Oh, if anybody needs cardboard boxes for lasagna gardens, oh, yeah. I have millions. My okay, husband we're going to call to order. Okay, I'm going to do a. Um, I don't need to do a roll call because everybody's here. Well, I will do one. Tom Delventhal? Here. Bernie Gillis? Here. Marilyn Gleason here. Susan Pagnano? Here. John Olson? John Olin? Here. <laughs> Gary Wilson? Here. And Charlie Gelston? Here. Okay, everybody's here, so we don't need to uh, uh, do an alternate appointment. Um, <clears throat> approval of the agenda as presented. I need a motion. So move. Second. Okay, anyone want to make any uh, amendments to the agenda, changes to the agenda? For today? Yes. Um, I'd like to ask if I can briefly um, hand out copies of uh, a seven word essay that I wrote on um, the commons and open space um, for your consideration for perhaps use uh, at some kind of function. Okay. Seven word, did you seven, say? This is 7,000 words. Ah, 7,000. It's very condensed for a possible newspaper piece to about 800 words. Do we need to add that to the agenda? Or? Um, we can do this at maybe an announcements under number nine. I'll just add it to the agenda. That would be a distribution, I guess. Another discussion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else? Anyone else want to add anything to the agenda? So I need a motion to approve the agenda as amended. So moved. Second. second. Who was the second? Was Charlotte? Susan. Susan. Okay, sorry. I think we need a replay. <laughs> it was yeah, a tie. I was tied. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Susan by a nose. <laughs> <laughs> by a nose. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to just take a minute to let anyone who's who might be listening that you can send in comments to ccchair at eastadam.org and I will be monitoring them to see if anything comes in and try to respond before the end of the meeting. <clears throat> Next is approval of our conservation minutes of April 6th. I hope you've all had a chance to read them. Mm -hmm. Any amendments? I have a couple of corrections. But that, you have a couple that, of corrections? Yeah. Okay, sure. All right, page three. Um, under B, where it says Eight Mile Wild and Scenic Committee. Yes. First bullet, last sentence. Town needs to come up with two hundred and sixteen hundred dollars. Should be two hundred sixteen thousand. It imagine. is two hundred sixteen thousand. Oh, it's got to be the t another, another zero. zero. Another yeah. zero. Okay. Yep. You're right. Uh, okay. On the same page, uh, n uh, letter C. Uh, on March 27th, Mr. Wilson met with, it would be Miss Kinsman. I probably said Susan, and you probably assumed that was Sue. Uh, it was Sue Kinsman and Kathy Bryson who helped me plant the red osier dogwoods. So where are we? Uh, page three. The first. Item the C, first, first sentence. First line. So it's Ms. Kinsman. Oh, Kinsman. Okay. And Kathy Bryson's correct? Yes. Okay. Is that it? Uh, yes. That's it. Motion to approve the minutes. Anybody else have, wait, anybody else have any corrections no. or changes? Okay. Motion to, I need a motion to approve the eight minutes as amended. So, Tom, a second? Second. Okay. Okay. Moving along. <laughs> All business subcommittee updates, stewardship and forestry management. Mr. Gillis. Oh, wow. Okay. 
All right, we finally had our uh, Lefebvre work party. And uh, uh, let's see, uh, who was there? I was there. I wasn't there. Tom, myself, John, uh, Sue Gla uh, Jennifer Glassman, of, uh, and uh, Jen and Jess. And uh, Jess, uh, I don't know her last name. So what, who was it? Glassman? Who? Jennifer Glassman. Yeah, Jennifer? she lives on uh, uh, Lake Hayward. And who are the other? Who are the other people? And uh, Jesse uh, White Frise. Okay. Lives across from the Hatch Lot. Right. Okay. And, uh, very productive day. We uh, we uh, blew off the trails and marked red and blue. And uh, and then uh, we went back. Susan and I went back. The day after? I believe so, or the Tuesday after. Yeah, a couple of days yeah. after. Mm -hmm. And refinished marking the red trail. So those two oh, loops really? Great. are completed. Yeah. You haven't been around yet? I, I have, no, I've only walked the blue. I didn't realize you yeah. finished the red. No. Oh, cool. I'll have to so, check that out. Yeah. It's not blazed yet, though, is it? Come again? Is it blazed yet? Marked? Like, yeah. It is. Oh, okay. Didn't we do that? We didn't paint. We didn't paint. Oh, I went back with my wife and we did that. Oh, you yeah. did? Oh, okay. oh, okay. Rob and I walked it. Did Rob you really? Yep. Oh, great. Oh, okay, Thanks. good. Uh, we'll have a, a little comment about the oh, okay. blue trail, but other than that, it was great. Okay. It's really beautiful. I've never been on the property before. It's a beautiful Pretty. property. And we went, uh, the day we marked the red trail, we went down, uh, Maureen and I went down and tape, tagged off the white trail, but there's a, there's a lot of water flow and this is to the lower park lot. I don't know if you guys are all familiar with it. But uh, to the lower parking lot, uh, to get access to it, you got to cross kind of a rough area that's really wet. So I don't know if that's going to be attainable right away. So, but Where's we, that? The low, low, down below. At Lefebvre? Lefebvre, yeah. Oh, you know yeah, that yeah, lower yeah. park lot where the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's sort of been paved... Um, Gravels so that it's almost yeah. it looks like it's part of the road now. Tree in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they make it a lot of use near all those houses down by, the, by Lake Hayward. <clears throat> We're on Lefebvre. Uh, no, Lefebvre. Lefebvre. Yeah. Oh. This Lefebvre. is a this is near where you could go to the uh, the Vista, right? Where you could take yeah, that shortcut the up to the, the Vista, Vista yeah. right? <clears throat> For so. uh, Devil's Hop Yard. <clears throat> Jones Hill. You remember when we had the pizza? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, Jones, uh, Jones Hill Road. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, so that's uh, that's looking good. I don't know, uh, Tom. I texted you. Uh, have they oh, done they, anything it, with the I, I'm sorry, I didn't respond to that. I uh, know they have not done anything with no. uh, with those piles of gravel. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're kind of in a holding pattern there because we we have the kiosk ready to go, and. As soon as the parking lot's done, we can get that kiosk in place. Yeah, apparently that was all supposed to have gone on to Jones Hill Road, so I guess that's going to be a killer parking lot now instead. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's left over, so. <laughs> Do you um, want to comment on Lefebvre? Or? Yeah, so the, um, the, it's the blue trail that goes through the parking lot, right? Yeah. Okay, so the blue trail that goes... From the parking lot, and then you come back down the Woods Road. You go down the Woods Road, and then you can come back. Um, so, if you're facing the parking lot, you go to the left, and then you come back to the right side of the parking lot. Um, when you come back, and you're uh, <clears throat> on, uh, parallel to the uh, Nature Conservancy property, part of it is actually on the Nature Conservancy property. I know we screwed oh, that. Part okay, it's yeah. just a little yeah. bit. It's what? on it. Really? Yeah. Which part? It, it just, it's just jogs. Just, it's jogs yeah. a little bit. Where it goes over the stone wall? Susan and I noticed that when we were out on the red trail. Where it goes over the stone wall? Unfortunately, Nature Conservancy doesn't, didn't mark their boundaries really well, so it's... Mm. Uh, because it's like, do we mark our boundaries well, or huh. why didn't they mark their boundaries yeah, well? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I think know. they have one tag on one tree. Yeah, I said to Rob... So is it now, they're responsible for their boundaries too. So, 
Is it a confusion in the trail, though? Does it make well, the confusion? problem the problem that, that Rob is worried about is Nature Conservancy doesn't allow hunting, and we will on our property. Mm -hmm. And so if somebody's close to the boundary, he's worried that, I don't know why anybody would be that close to the boundary and be hunting that close, but he's just worried that it's so, it's a, it's a boundary where there's hunting and no hunting, and that he was worried about that. But I thought Nature Conservancy did allow. Hunting. No, they don't allow. Hunting. Oh, they allow it for one day. One day. Yeah, yeah. Burnham Brook allows. So, is that part of Burnham Brook or no? Yes. It, it, it would be. Yeah. If that, I didn't. I didn't see a spot that I can imagine crosses over it's there. It's closed. Burnham Brook is closed. What is it from the month of December that is closed for hunting? That's what I thought. Yeah, I was mm. told it was just one day that they allow the the state workers to go out there with their guns. I've gotten a letter every year warning me coming up like November eighteenth to December eighteenth. Oh, it's a whole month. To stay okay. out of the woods, and I always thought it was from the Nature Conservancy. Yeah. Okay, so it is the yeah. Whole so month. it's okay. it's just a matter. It's that was the issue that he had. But so do you want us to move it? Or? I don't think it's really necessary because it's such a small, it's such a small movement that it would really be. Silly to me. I don't think I you mean, should bother. It's doable. Honestly. But, yeah. I just wanted you to know that that's what he yeah, pointed out okay. to me. But you already knew that. Did so. you look at the, 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 what do you want to call it, stem trail that goes down to the lower park? Yes. Water. Is that something that we should pursue? Or? <clears throat> I don't know. I think we have to think about that because it is awfully wet down there. Yeah. I mean, it might require a bridge or mm, yeah, something, and definitely. I don't know if, what kind of money that would involve. And it would be such a nice parking lot up top. They might I know. Well just go there. Yeah. yeah. I'd encourage them to use the upper yeah. parking lot. Yeah. Let's hold off on that okay. and think okay. about it. Is that parking lot you were just talking about, I once pulled in there and I crossed the Jones Hill Road and I walked up on that, that escarpment there. Up to the Vista? Yeah. yeah. Did you go all the way up? That's Devil's Hop Yard. Oh, is that, that right across yeah. the street? Is all it's all Devil's Hop Yard, so yeah. So there's a trail that goes up there, right. so that parking lot could be used to access that. Which that's is what, what it is being used for today. That's where I used to park all the time to go to Devil's Hop That's where yeah. they park to go, they, yeah. to go there, yeah. But on the, to the, towards um, the fair, then there's that swampy area. That's right. Yeah. 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 So I, I'm not sure if we want to buy I mean, I think that's something we want to hold off and think about for the future, maybe, but... Okay. We have other things to do. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. How about that, um, the little footbridge that goes across on the Red Trail? Uh, there used to be a little, what, did you? Yes. Did I'm you notice that? Huh? Did you notice that? Yeah. 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 The little wagon road. Yeah. It looks like somebody laid a couple of Yeah, beans. it looks oh, like somebody, they were in logging, that needs a little they work, a I think. Over yeah. Yeah. yeah, that needs yeah. a little work. Unless you could do just stones. Could you do just stones? How flooded does it get? I love walking across stones. It's wet right now, but uh, no, I mean, it, it, it's, it's kind of a gully, and it probably needs a, a small footbridge. Just a couple of two-by-twelves or something. And then there's that little area where there's, there, it looks like there was a camp, little camping site. Mm-hmm. By sure. the stone wall. Yeah, that's oh, what yeah, yeah. must be talking about where it goes on. It would be kind of neat to have a little historical marker there or something, or a little description there. Wouldn't it be neat to have? Because people used to obviously camp there. Yeah. Because they had the netting there for the keep the animals out. You could see they had a little place yeah. for a stove or something. Yeah. It would be neat to some to have some sort of a little marker there, wouldn't it? To a little interest, historical interest there. Well, we have to find out. It was Rob said he found an outhouse somewhere in there too. We yeah. Could a historical marker for that. It might be kind of neat to put that in there. I just thought at some point in the future. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know who to. I, I'll ask Noel. I'll yeah. send her an email. When we get around to the kiosk, do we think we should put something to honor Edith Lafayette yes. and sure. a little historical yeah. Yeah. one yeah. pager? Oh, I think that would be yeah. really nice. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got yeah. a couple pictures. It's the one pager. Yeah, just one. Think small. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of last, speaking of the fair, remember Bernie? Um, you saw where Rob has made um, the, the, these tied pink ribbons on a proposed trail down the <clears throat> Right. 
Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 Was there any discussion on that? Well, he was trying to show me. He had me walking so off the trail. I was. We started down it, but it was. <laughs> yeah. Well, he yeah. said he found a place that wasn't quite as steep because it was pretty steep there. Yeah. But he had me walking. I said, "Geez, please stop," because. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he said he found a place that wasn't quite as steep, but it is pretty, still pretty yeah, steep yeah. there. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you have to talk to, what's his name, David, the guy from... Um, Dick Gumbar, yeah. Yeah, talk to him and find out where Yeah, the was. next eight mile meeting I'm going to have. Uh, yeah. You know, just because we're pretty much in place now, so we can move forward with that if... Uh, Although I expect that we're the ones that are going to have to do all the work, because I don't think they're going to be able oh, to yeah. provide mm -hmm. yeah. any... At some point... Uh, Oh, sorry. That we're gonna we're gonna be the ones that have to do the connection, um, but we'd have to work with them as far as the placement of it and stuff. So, yeah. but yeah, I mean, Rob said he spent some time out there and put those pink ribbons out. Mm. So, I uh, got it in my head within the last six months that I was gonna go down Jones Hill to Hop Yard to um, Dolby Hill. And because I thought, like on Sheepskin Hollow, even though it's a dead end from both ends, it's easy to walk in between. And I thought I was going to find that on Dolby Hill. It's not like that at all. No, it's <laughs> I, was, not. I was bushwhacking yes. for hours. <laughs> and the terrain is remarkably similar to the Devil's Hop Yard terrain. I mean, it, it really it's so rugged and up and down. And I finally found the blue trail on Burnham Brook. And it, it's not in good shape. It's not well marked. It's not cleared. So I think in addition to connecting to it, uh, we want to think about where we're sending people once it connects. Yeah. Because, because if you go left to avoid the steepness, you're sort of heading towards the, the entrance of Burnham Brook. And it's a little safer. If you go right, then... I, I don't. I think you're going to be hiking a long way before you come back out again. Yeah. You know, as a footnote to that, uh, we're working on making uh, Burnham Brook a, an office space for the Eight Mile and uh, other organizations, possibly the Land Trust and uh, Lime Land Trust. And, and if we were to do that, I think we would uh, do some work on Burnham Brook. And although that might change. What's that? The it might be it might move to the house that that um, that's part of Devil's Hop Yard. That house might not be available. Oh really? Yeah, because the person that lived there died, and so that house might be available. The the uh, state might offer that house instead, and that's actually right on the eight mile. Where is it? It's right next to the you know the parking lot where the um, Right above the falls, you know, yeah. there's the parking lot right across from the top of the falls. Wow. There's a house right there. Wow. It might be that house. The that's house that used to be the ranger's yeah. house? Yeah, that's yes. usually the ranger's house. That house about. might be the one that Eight Mile might that move into. That would be into. great. Somebody who died that was living it's in there? It's a lot house? more accessible. Yeah. Than sure, yeah. There's a good even though the other house too. is beautiful. I don't know yeah. if you've ever been in it, but it's yeah. that's a beautiful house. But What's the other one that you just mentioned that you were... Bur the one at Burnham Brook, Burnham the one Brook. that Rick Dick Goodwin used to live in. Oh, wow. I know. Except it's in the What's middle the of nowhere. What's the address of that? It's in the middle of nowhere. Come again? What's the address of the former Dick Goodwin house? It's on Dolbia Hill. It is coming from west. You know where the entrance is to Burnham Brook? Yeah. The end of the road. It's at the... The house on the left. There. It's at the house. It's really? right past the oh, entrance on the left. Oh, that would have been beautiful. It's incredible inside. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the Ranger house has like a three bay garage as well, I think. Yeah, and it's got more parking and that's news. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So enough chat. Okay. Let's get that's to enough business. on Lefebvre, I guess. Um, <laughs> on us associated with us, I went out to Chapman Pond uh, on Earth Day and did a little cleanup out there uh, with some friends of Maureen's who pitched in. Uh, Perhaps okay in the box there.
Are there maps in the box? Are we responsible for that? I'm responsible for we, that. We do, even though, yeah. Chapman, I don't remember. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't make a note of that. I'm going to need maps, by the way. Charlotte has them all. Yeah. Give me a call and you know, let me know when you swing by. It. Okay. Or, um, Fly by. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm usually there. If I'm not, you know, okay. I can leave them on the stone. Rose the Farm needs maps. Oh, boy, that's a lot of use. I yeah. Put some in there. Yeah. Oh, maybe three weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. They seem to go through those pretty yeah. quick, yeah. There's like two or three left. Uh, well, it's right off the main road, so it makes sense. To yeah. I blazed the red trail at Davison. There are a couple of trees down there that I have to go back and take care of. Uh, stopped at the Salmon River Overlook, and uh, the knotweeds have come back. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anybody's been down there, but no, they're going to ever the go kiosk, away. the uh, pavilion, is surrounded by knotweed. Yeah. Mm. Uh, knotweed. I today um, I was talking with the group from the Whalebone Cove Association. Yeah. And they were out, three or four of them, looking at dealing with the knotweed that's growing up along Wellbone Cove. And um, so I'm going to get involved with them. And I've had a lot of some experience with knotweed in Pennsylvania. Um, How do you get rid of it? Well, it's a rhizome. Yeah. And um, it's very difficult to get rid of. You I started pulling them out. You dig it up, but, but it's so prolific. You just break um, the root off. I, you know... Could you smother if, it? If it's, a, if it's a circumscribed area, Bernie, I found, and I used to protect some fern gardens on some of the islands. I was an island steward in the Susquehanna. And I would just make a point of going out there every spring and whacking it and keeping it down. And that actually, you know, it's just the regular thing you have to do yeah. in a, subscribed, a circumscribed area. Um, otherwise, and I'll talk with these guys from the whalebone. <coughs> They're, they're looking at ways of dealing with it. Maybe they'll find out some other ways to. You never use pesticides. I don't like uh, to use herbicides, right? Her yeah. Yeah. Amaya says, find a use for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very flimsy bamboo kind of could, segmented thing. Could you smother it? I don't know. That's a good question. Because if uh, you put a, a contractor's uh, cloth or the plastic, thick, thick plastic, then wood chips, yeah, you, you, might, you might, you uh, might, you know. Yeah. Stop a little bit, at least around the, at least where it needs to be around the pavilion. Yeah. And we know I, there's yeah. plenty of wood chips. Try it. Yeah. See, you know? it, it, I, I think the area on both sides of the pavilion you could mow, protecting your plants, though. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, but uh, there's, they're growing on the uh, down slope side, and that, I think that would be tough to manage mowing by. Yeah. So that would be a, a technique that we might try. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of wood chips up at Harris. You could, you know, utilize those. Truck them down there, huh? Although the ones at Harris are mixed with soil. They're trying to turn it into compost. Oh. They've added soil to it. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Yeah. All right. And uh, let's see. Uh, I upgraded the... Uh, Eight Mile Wildlife Management Area kiosk. I don't know if any of you guys ever make it out there. We're responsible for those. There, there's one, right? Is there two? One? Just one. It's just the it's one. On uh, Salem Road. And, oh, uh, way up towards is it Fox Hollow or something? Uh, um, Route 82? No, what's that? You uh, go down a mile down 156, 156. Uh, take a left. Mm -hmm. and Baker. You, Baker Lane. That's and you go up. Oh, oh, no, yeah. after Baker Lane. It's after Baker Lane. Oh, after Baker Lane. Oh, after Baker Lane. All right. It's uh, Salem Road. Salem Road. Oh, Salem. that's it. Oh, what is that called? It's, oh, that's the eight-mile kiosk? Or? It's an eight-mile wildlife management area. It was one of the first properties that the state bought out there. Oh, right. And it's after. part of the Goodwin Trail. It's a, it's a hunting in the yeah. season, and uh, but the Goodwin Trail runs through it, and I guess we're responsible for the kiosk oh. there. Does it need painting? Hmm? Does it need painting? Well, that's a good point. It's brown. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, can we paint it green? <laughs> <laughs> we could. 
I suppose it's ours. Right. I mean, Ain't that, you know where we're talking about? <laughs> uh, um, no, but I'll find it. I thought Maureen sent you a map or something. She did, yeah. Yeah, yeah and I couldn't place it, but okay. I'll, I'll find it. I'll locate it. How far up the road is it once you turn off 156? Uh, about a mile and a half, maybe a mile and three quarters, yeah. And it's on the, the north side. I'll check it out. If you want me to paint it, I will. Yeah, sure. Okay. And I painted Rose Farm, by the way. And uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was we, we inherited two trail counters. Uh, and I was wondering if uh, anybody wanted to discuss the idea of maybe putting them out there. What are they? Trail counters. It's an electronic. Uh, you put in uh, batteries and mount it to a tree. And then there's a reflective disc on the other side. And anything that passes it will trigger a account and uh, hmm. I wanted to put one on the Goodwin Trail somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be discreet about where you put them so that nobody vandalizes them. But, uh, mm -hmm. but we have two and I was thinking maybe uh, somewhere else. And the purpose being just, just to get a for feel a, for yeah. the amount of use that a trail's getting. Uh, I don't know, it's just a thought. Yeah. We have them in our possession. Yeah. And, uh, so want to put one at, at um, Want to put one at Boot Rock, maybe? I was thinking Pazzini. Once you get into the woods and start headed towards uh, the wildlife management area. Well. Or would you rather have it more localized? Well, Pazzini's not really ours. Yeah, it is. Well, most of it's lime, isn't it? No. Is that all ours? Oh no, it's it's Petrel that's just part of our piece of line. That's yeah, part of red line. trail, yeah. Okay, so Pazine. But this put, is the Goodwin Trail. This is right. this isn't on one of our um, trail network. I know, but what are we trying to do? Are we trying to determine? Aren't we trying to use it for our purposes? Well, um, wouldn't well, it be if we're we've see, got if we're, some O'Connell coming up? Maybe it should be at Chagru, and we can gather some data that might be useful in pushing O'Connell. Absolutely. No, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah so maybe on Chagru is a good idea to yeah. see what kind of... Uh, what do you think, Susan? Yeah, I got? think that would be a good idea. Where do you yeah. think you'd put it, though? Um, there were like six people came through while we were putting in the kiosk. Mm. But yeah. wouldn't you want to put it, I put it on, on the, the red entrance? trail, on the red trail, like after the blue trail on the red trail, okay. see how far people go. See if they just loop the blue or if they go over to the red. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know about the orange, but I'd put it on the, I would put it on the red trail. Yeah. Yeah. And the white trail is just a small lake, so you know a lot of people don't know Cragmere, but they know the, you know the. But Chagru is going to connect to the O'Connell property. What's the O'Connell property called? Hopefully, at some point, if we if we were to choose buying it, where would that connection be? From that lot by the cemetery, across the road, and walk across the field into the wooded area. To get to so maybe it should be close to that lot, the O'Connell Road, but uh, there's no trail there right now. But it would be the, the, sort of the same lot serving both, kind of the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. At so, this point. Yeah, at this so point, maybe it would go through the, the field, trail right? from the parking lot. Come again? Maybe just down the trail from the parking lot, so that we get a, a, a sense of how. How well populated that parking lot is, because that would be that would give us data that might be useful for O'Connell. Yeah, you put it at a junction. You know, yeah, if you put it on the red trail and somebody walked the blue trail, you wouldn't record it. Right. But if you put it at a junction, maybe of the yeah. blue and red trail. Great. Yeah, yeah I think we've yeah. said it. That overlap. Yeah. 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 That's a great that, idea. An intersection. Yeah. That way, if people just go to the blue, you get them. If they come to the red, they, you get them, you know. Right. One of the things in the instructions is to try to find a area that's like uh, vegetative, like um, mountain laurel or something, that you can hide it mm -hmm. right. to some degree. But I don't think anybody's going to steal it. Well, you, yeah, I wouldn't count on that, actually. Because <laughs> there's people who do things you can't just imagine yeah. that they would do. They do it just for the sake of causing trouble. It's yeah. terrible. I'm just wondering if we should put it on a, a property where we're not sure if people are, are using it or not. Like we're, like a Sabine or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That, that, that doesn't seem like it gets a lot of traffic. 
Although you walk the blue trail. Yeah, I walk the blue trail, Sabine. And, and I think the chairs have really promoted Is that right? a lot of use. That's yeah, because they were pretty well used. Yeah. I don't know, that would be your call. Yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just thinking we should use it on our trails rather than on the Goodwin Trail. Okay. I'd like to use it on at least start. We could move it to the Goodwin Trail at some point, but I'm just, I That's think right. we should start using it on one of our trails. So, so we know Hatchlock gets a well, lot Based on the map replenishment for the sites I'm responsible right. for, uh, burning, uh, or, burning, I was, or Lena Roaring or something. Roaring Brook. Roaring Brook. Roaring Brook seems to get the least traffic because there's, I, I rarely have to replace maps there. How about Lena? <clears throat> Lena is kind of the That's same, but last time I was there, I saw three people coming up on horses. That's a good one, too. Mm. I was thinking Lena might be yeah. another good one. Yeah, and you could probably hide it pretty well at Lena, just yeah. going down that main, the main trail, you know, the, the, yeah. the, the abandoned uh, town trail. The Woods Road. Oh, you mean the Woods Road, the actual. Yeah, yeah. 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 Harris gets a lot of use. Yeah, Harris gets a lot of use. Well, l let me know what your thoughts are. And okay. I could uh, get out there and try to mount it sometime. Hmm. And I think that does it. Okay. Um, I got an email from um, Maya Darrow, mm. um, currently a senior at Nathan Hale Ray High School, mm. asking for more information about becoming a reserve monitor. Great. Um, she hiked the hatch lot and saw the paper underneath the kiosk. I love walking your trails. In fact, my friend and I walked all of the trails in East Haddam over the summer. Wow. I very frequently walk the trails in East Haddam and and was seeking more information on becoming a reserve monitor. I was wondering if I became a reserve monitor, how frequently I would have to look at the trails and such. So I responded, this, this came in a little while ago. I, I, um, I told her that she really didn't have to pick a trail. She could, if she wants to just walk the trails and just report in whenever, it's Oops. fine too. She doesn't mm -hmm. have to spe specify. Um, so she hasn't responded back to me yet, but um, assuming she does, I'm just going to give her your email. Yes, send me your contact. So whenever, whenever she's out there on whatever trail. Now, she may be confused, and it may be some land trust land trails trust that she reports on, and then you just forward it to, um, to Ralph. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we got one, one response from <laughs> our yay. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> read it. <laughs> of a thousand miles to start that? with the first response. <laughs> One starfish at a time. I know, so exciting. But the good thing is, it's yeah, also yeah. from a young person. I know. I mean, look at, <laughs> we need more young blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, so that was good. Mm -hmm. What was her name again? Maya, M-Y-A, Darrow, D-A-R-R-O-W. And where'd she live, do you know? She didn't say. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Thank you, Bernie. Outreach and promotion. Um, so we need articles. Um, you were going to write an article on bats, and bats. Susan and I are going to write an article on composting. Correct. Um, if anyone has anything else, we're going to be looking for an article on open space. And you you already had one that you wrote that I really liked. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but if anyone has any other ideas, Charlotte, you were going to do one on horseback riding on our trails. Right. And do you want that soon? Yeah. we're. I mean, we're, we don't have anything in the hopper, so if you could do one, sure. that would be great. And, and how many words do you want? You want concise, right? Three, um, what, did, what was it, three or four hundred? Is that what he said? Um, for, the, for the newspaper? The newspaper? I thought it was like six hundred. Six you could be up to six hundred. It could be less than that. It doesn't mm. have to be... A, but it could be up to 600, so, okay. okay. We're going to have John write, he'd be 10,000 words. <laughs> <laughs> well, have the year covered. I'm used to have the year. <laughs> the year would be covered. He uh, likes a picture, too. He likes a photo. Okay. <clears throat> so it could be just a photo of a trail. So I could get a photo of a trail if you want to. Because well, you said I, you wanted I to do the hatch. I have photos of horses <clears throat> in the woods. So okay. I'll, that's I'll send, I mean, I can't remember where half of them were taken because okay. it's been a while now between my ACL 
disconnecting in my hips. I haven't been out there. But um, I have plenty of really good photos uh, that would draw interest. Okay. So I'll, I'll get on that. Okay, that'd be great. Yep. Um, and we were going to talk about doing the... Um, right. And I think that that article would best be maybe in July or August when everything is blossoming, the garden's in full swing, the sunflowers are up. And I talked to, I ran into Kristen, and she's going to work on the tank. She's going to do 12 things for the scavenger hunt. So those are three things that could be connected into one article that generates excitement for whatever you want to do in the future for a presentation up there. Okay. So now on the tank, she's going to hide little things yeah. on the tank. So they're going to be low enough so little kids can see Right. Them. I'll discuss it further with her. I told her I'd, I'd um, bring it up at the meeting and let her know when to start. Okay. You know. And then we talked about doing something for breast cancer awareness in, what was that, September yes. or October? That was October. 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 Yeah. So... Um, we might want to start planning like which trails. I know you had already done some research on yeah. some short trails. Yeah. So we might want to start thinking about that so we can get um, some promotional materials started, started maybe so that we're ahead of the game. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I had a list of those trails. I think that's a great there. idea. I think that's Further great. minutes back yeah. there. <laughs> I didn't dig too far for that. Yeah, that's okay. But I, we have time. Okay. So, um, but I, I don't want to forget that because I think that's a really good idea. Right. And, and we'll didn't think you start making tags? I made them. Yeah, yeah the tags for the trails. They're nice. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so the perfect pink. No. I didn't bring it. Does that work? Perfect pink, though. Yeah, I think that'd be, that's a great idea. I think yeah. that'd be um, good. So you're thinking more than one trail? I had six. Six? That were shorter. Yeah. But, I mean, that was just six of the Conservation Commission trails that were short trails. Yeah. But, I mean, it can be two or three. It doesn't have to be six. Yeah. So how many tags do you think you need? I mean, we should probably get a count on them. Right. Decide what trails and... Well, what do you think? Do you want six or three trails? I mean, that just was a... I don't know. What's the... Well, how long the are they? Let's, I think it depends on how long they are. They're and like I think... Don't we want people to find them and have it be a little quest that they go out and find right. these trails just like we did with the chairs, right? We right. We wanted mm -hmm. to be similar. Right. I just banked mm -hmm. it off the six chairs, you know, so six yeah. trails. But they're like 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 It could be miles. just oh, ribbons. It doesn't yeah. have to yeah. be... Task. Does it have to be a one-day thing? No, no it's no, the month no. of October. Okay, yeah. The month of right. October, they'll have the month great. to yeah. go find yeah, yeah. these. Six short trails. Yeah. Marilyn, are you are you going to do a prize like what you did for the? Well, we could do a prize. We could do um, we could do a prize, or we could do a donation to to a breast cancer charity. I was going to say if you, if you want a prize, I could knit a pink cowl, a neck warmer. Oh. That's an idea. Pink. He's that's knitting again. Yeah. I'm always knitting. Yeah. That's the only thing that keeps my arthritic hands from no, being No, that's pink. a good idea. Yeah. Something like that is a good idea because it'll be in the fall. Right. Yeah. Pink cowl. hats. Pink, pink hats and... A cowl and a donation. Yeah. It could be. You know, and or a cowl and or donation because yeah, you have males taking their picture oh. at the... They yeah. might want to make a donation. Well, and if it's a male, I, can, I, I have plenty of other colors. Male would want a pink cowl. No, right, that's what well, I'm males, saying. No. Males were pink. I see, like, basketball players were in pink and baseball players were in pink, pink in, the, in October. Yeah. <laughs> I see them wearing pink. And we could work on that. And, right? We could work on the prize. Yeah. Well, why not? Well, work on that. For breast cancer. That's See? Look at that. I've got uh, uh, no, probably about <laughs> 70 or 80 of those tags. But uh, that might be enough. I mean, I think I'm thinking maybe <clears throat> your idea of putting them on smaller trails that are interior. Right. So you have to go searching for. Yeah. Them. Right. And mm -hmm. and because the trails are already marked, you don't have to. You're not marking the trail with pink. You could. They don't have to be so close together. You could mm -hmm. skip every three blazes and put a tag. Uh, good point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because right. Good point. You know, yeah. it's already blazed. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. See, it takes yeah. a woman to figure it out. <laughs> So 70 or 80 would probably be plenty. That would probably be plenty. Yeah. 70 or 80. Yeah. yeah. Maybe every other, every third. Correct. Put a pink uh, tag right. up or something. And, uh, right. You have to do it both ways, though. So. Uh, 10 or 12 trail. But, yeah, shorter trails. Right. More. Uh, yeah. I have a list of them. I'll get them to you. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. I made a list of them. Sure. Yeah. I'll get them to you. I think that'd be fun. They have to take their picture and report it back yep. to the just like know, we did with the chairs, right? With, right, with yep. the chairs, yeah. 
And we can use the same, same email box that I have for that's from the land trust. I could have them send it to the same place. Right. And because the tags are, we could take the tags down and reuse them. We're not blazing the trail. We're just using tags. Right. Good brownies there, Charlotte. Oh, uh, raspberry <laughs> bars. What are they? Raspberry bars. Raspberry bars. Thank you. How okay. So, uh, just one more. Yeah. What are your thoughts on advertising this? Or do we have any? Well, we'll, we'll definitely put something on the East Haddam uh, website. And we'll probably put something on the Facebook page. Right. And then maybe we'll put flyers around town in the different businesses. Right. Also, if the article goes out for the sunflowers, the tank, and the lasagna garden, because that would make a nice article. There's yeah. three points of interest. You could put something like coming up in October, look for us in October, look for the trails, you know, make a little statement in that article. And we'll put something in East Haddam News. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So think, uh, when does the quarterly magazine come out? The next time. Um, well, when did the last one come out? I think the newspaper would be fine. Mm, yeah. I do too. A lot of people read that. That's yeah. Uh, I'm not sure the timing for that would. Right. That's the why I was yeah, asking. Yeah. Sure. It would need to be uh, just a little bit ahead of time, right. and it mm -hmm. might not be the right yeah. time frame. But. Yeah. There, there must be one in July because. Yeah, but that might be too soon. I think the newspaper would be better because it's weekly. Right. And if we put flyers around town, like if we put them in the pizza places, we put them at the pharmacy, you know, places people go, the grocery store, now that we have a grocery store. Do the, does the, does the um, Land Trust Conservation Commission have connection with the schools or no? Is that soliciting? No, we can we can because I think the schools would promote that. We can promote it at the schools. We can ask the teachers to talk, uh, put it up at the schools. That would get the talk other about kids. it at the schools, sure. Because the scavenger hunt is for the little ones, right? You know. Yeah. So I think if we could somehow communicate with the school system, sure. it wouldn't be a bad idea. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Um, there's also the we had talked about a possible. Some kind of outdoor event with Lisa Wally, right? New England Cottontails. Um, we were talking June-ish last time, right? Do we want to keep talking about that or talk about it in this is our May meeting. Holy mackerel! Our next meeting is a June meeting. I know. Mm. Um, is it too soon for some kind of outdoor event, Bill? Um, I don't know. Maybe you know July or August. She could do something. Okay. If she could do something. Okay. See what her schedule's like. So it sounds like the public garden, which is where the tank is, right? Yeah. And and that's also right behind Comer Park, Comer State Park. Uh, would that be a good place to have the event, do you think? Well, we could have it. Um, I don't know if we could have it at Comer. We'd have to see if we need permission. I don't know. At the public garden, but sort of. I mean, it'll spill into Comer, it seems to me, the two of them really are right next to each other. I mean, all Comer really is is a parking area. Right. I think there's a lot of space which could be utilized, which would be safer than on the garden plot sides. The, you know, the, on the other side of the tank, where all the garden plots are? Right. The other side of the tank, there's a, lot of, there's a big area there that would be safer for children, dogs, let's say. You know, and then we could, um, you know, rope off the lasagna garden where you want to do a presentation and the tank would be there versus them coming in the garden site with all the plots. Okay. People get very protective over their garden. Well, I don't blame them, yeah. yeah. And then we could, because um, I kind of visualize where the tank is, where there's a little bit more uh, area to do any kind of presentation or, or have her, you know, Wally there too at the same time to generate some excitement, but you could rope off the plots. Okay. Do you know where I'm talking about? Yeah, like on, I do. where the, the pile of wood chips is. Right. Our wood chips are, or wood chips <laughs> is, whatever. Um, there's a lot more space there to do kind of activities versus being in the garden plot. <clears throat> okay. That's a that's, good idea. That's just a suggestion. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Yeah, tables and there. Entrance, too. There's there's there. entrance there, too. And maybe we keep it over the course of the summer, it's going to grow up. Right. So that has to. Plan on something like that. And people could have to mow it and make sure it was right. We can ask for it to be mowed. There's a lot yeah. of parking at the kiosk down the road. The first kiosk, as you're coming in, there's parking at the second kiosk, and then we maybe could park at Comer and they could walk through right to the event. That's a good idea. 
Yeah, that's a yeah. really good idea. Easy yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And the scavenger right. hunt wouldn't be so obtrus intrusive to right. the gardeners. Right. Right. Um, so should I ask Lisa about her availability in July? Yeah, ask her for over the summer, what her availability is over the summer. I think August would be better. August. August, so, okay. Um, I'm thinking of my wife. She, she would love to talk to people about her garden, but she, she has her own particular way of doing things. Each gardener does it. Mm -hmm. And um, that... It might just might be possible to include them in something like right. that. They might want to be there, mm -hmm. and, and people might. There's enough pathway, I think, so that you can walk um, between the gardens. That has yet to be. Seen. We'd have to get. That we, might be thing yeah, we might out. have to get permission from people to have people walk around the gardens yeah. and stuff. That's the only complicated. Yeah. Not, some people might be really not wanting that, mm -hmm. and some people might be more open to it, and you have to be careful. Right. So you were thinking of roping off the whole. Correct. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Do not, you know, do not pass these line private gardeners or something, you know, something to affect where. Right. Yeah. No, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. Okay. Liaison reports, IWWC. Um, Anything my pertinent My son to us? was visiting from California. I'm sorry I did not attend the meeting. Okay. But since I have the floor... Could I ask Bernie to put his mask back on, please? It, oh. it, um, Why? It, it fits so well. You can actually see his mouth. It looks like a <laughs> muppet. It's really entertaining. Oh. oh, don't make him put it on. Just make him put it on. Don't, don't no, make I'm him. It's a joke. <laughs> you don't have to put it on. <laughs> it fits so tight. I can see everything that your mouth is doing. You look like a muppet. <laughs> Such an actor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I apologize for missing the IWWC. I will okay. nail it next month, I promise. Okay, planning and zoning. Anything pertinent to us? Uh, no, we approved the, uh, the guest house on the uh, Chilton property that oh, okay. was right over the uh, Roaring Brook. As a oh well, my, well executed wow. uh, application. Well, all that. Roger I'm sure. Never got put it together. And, uh, <laughs> With Rod, between Roger and Chilton, I'm sure it was yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it goes right over the brook. Yeah, it's right on it. There's a slu uh -huh. It's an old wheelhouse. It's a sluice way yeah, that, yeah. that just to feed the the wheel. That, uh -huh. uh, I don't know what kind of mill it was. I forget what they said. But uh, was he, Mr. Chilton there? He was. Yeah. He was. Yeah. Yeah. And, He's a nice man. Yeah. Yeah. And I have been back that way since our last meeting, and yeah, the, the, you do see the cemetery from the road. And, and it looks to me like, was, was that one of the town centers at one time? It just has this feeling that the <coughs> whole area, especially with the cemetery up on top of the hill, you know, that Millington... Uh, you can actually see the cemetery? Yeah. I have to get up there at some point. Yeah. Uh, it's there's, like a, up, there's a swimming pool up there, you know. Well, maybe they have um, headstone floats in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> there's a leveled area <laughs> up on top that has a swimming pool. In it. Um, but I'm not quite sure where the... I'm pretty sure up behind the barn. Like the hill just goes up. The barn is here, the house is here, and the hill goes up. And you can and see a cemetery? Top, you could see the, the headstones? Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, I thought for sure I oh, saw I don't, I don't know if yeah. I've ever... I'll have to look, because I haven't... I've never really... Of course, I've never really looked for it, so mm. maybe... Um, just uh, for your information, uh, we're, the Nutmeg Pharmacy is going to uh, blow out the back of the building and increase the size of that. They're coming before us. Uh, oh, they're not going to move? No. Where are they're they? They're going to end up staying there. Add on to that building. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bruce Dutch owns that building. Okay. Yeah. Nutmeg Pharmacy and William Palmer Road. Moodis. Uh, in that in the main plaza area? No, up the hill. Up the hill. Okay. On the left there. From okay. Liberty Bank. Across the just We're down left. past yeah. the bank and across the street from the bank. Oh. Okay. And um, we're discussing. Uh, some possible regulation changes for MUDIS, but that's uh, long off in the distance. Uh, um, 
Is that for the parking? No, they want to try to calm the traffic down and uh, and encourage more business. I think it's. Are they going to put um, speed bumps? Uh, they might have to, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a pipe dream that uh, Prairie Brownell has. Oh, I've, I've been to some of their meetings. I've <laughs> listened to some of their meetings. Yeah, they are pipe dreams. It, uh, it's, it's a way <laughs> off. Um, no, that's about it. Yeah, not really much going on there. Uh, and we reviewed the open space application at the last meeting, and, and that's moving forward. I guess we're going to look at that tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, Good Speed's going to put up a tent for the summer down in the parking lot. And, uh, well, they're coming before us for permission, but uh, that's going to be over by uh, the bridge where uh, you walk up through the parking lot to the Galston house. It's in the parking lot rather than in their yeah. grassy yeah. area. Yeah, hmm. for events, outside events and stuff, yeah. That's about it. And what's going to go inside the tent? What's going to be in the tent? Uh, events, musical events, and oh, is it for the, for uh, the uh, music on the river, or uh, or for their no, own? No, I don't believe so. No, for I, their own events. That wasn't mentioned. For the Good Sweet Opera House. We haven't heard it yet. It was just okay. uh, put on our agenda last meeting. But, okay. Uh, okay. But I think it's just for um, for outside private. Not private, but members, you know. Oh, okay. Paid admission. Oh, type okay. Of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, but nice. On yeah. Small venues. Because I guess they're going to have music on the river again, down there. I, in I August. heard it's going to be moved to the middle school. No, but it's going to be moved back to the. Oh, it is. That's what I heard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So, that's what I heard. It's going to be moved back. <clears throat> Um, okay, open space updates. So I sent you the document. Mm -hmm. So did you have a chance to read it? It's, um, it's just got all the information about the property, the description of it. Yeah. And um, the important thing is the dates. It's got to go before what's well, going before planning and zoning on May 25th. And then the selectmen's meeting is proposed for June 2nd. So it's got to be approved by all of these committees. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Board of Finance is June 14th. And then there will be a town meeting. And would it help if some or all of us are at these other meetings? Um, well, yeah. Um, sure. If you want to, <clears throat> in case you want to say anything at the meetings, because they're, you know, they're open to the public, and you're welcome to to speak at them. Um, as private citizens. As private citizens. Yeah. Um, but it it also at the town meeting and certainly at the referendum to vote at the referendum. The, the proposal is for July twentieth, so it's a way off. The, the, the referendum. Is the That's the proposed. Yeah. So it goes May twenty fifth is P and Z selectman is when. The selectmen's meeting is June second, and then the town meeting. The board of finance is June fourteenth. Oh, oh, missed that one. Yeah. And then the 14th. proposal for the town meeting is uh, there's a, there's two town either June twenty third or July eighth, and then the referendum is around July twentieth. Well, I think there could be two. So it would be June 23rd or July 8th. Is, uh, in this town, is it, is it, the town meeting is when they can ask questions. Meetings? They can ask questions. People, can, The town can, okay. people can ask questions. Just a public hearing. Jim Benrys will put on a a presentation. And they put on a, they they just they tell give a presentation of what what's okay. going on and so what the property. No, I think it's all all will be one. It's just a meeting. It's not going to be a hearing. Good. And we don't know yeah. what date, but maybe. Uh, yeah, it'll be the end of June, beginning of July, and then the referendum is around July twentieth. They're hoping. 
See, I wasn't able to open any of the, what I thought were links. None of them opened on my computer. And maybe it was just my well, it's a, computer. It was an glitch. attachment. It was an attachment. It well, there was one link. attachment which I opened up and I read, you know, read the article, but there were links within there saying, I might want to look at this or that. Do you want it? Yeah, if I can get one. Yeah. So, I made, I, so this is hard to read. This, this is mm -hmm. the original one I got, so I made a copy with it, with it in yellow so you could read it. Sorry. Right, just thank that you. one page. <clears throat> So any questions on that? Well, I was just wondering um, if we're going to develop a strategy to increase the chances that it's passed. Well, we just need to be strong advocates for it. Yeah. Read the material, know the material. Yeah. Talk to your neighbors and... Yeah, and talk to, to your get, neighbors. We need to get the vote out. Jim's the main mouthpiece, right? Hmm? Jim is the main mouthpiece, yeah? Jim Ventress? No. Jim Ventress is, yeah. No, we have to be, we have to oh. be neutral. Um, unfortunately, mm. uh, the people that will be promoting it will be the uh, land trust, will be um, strong advocates. They usually have a table outside where the, um, where the meeting is, and they'll probably be putting in um, letters in the East Side of News. Mm. Okay. Um, but we can write articles about the value of open space, not particularly about this one, but we can write articles about the value of open space um, in general. And that's what, what I was hoping that we could do. And that's what John had already started doing. Um, and we could certainly talk to our neighbors about the value of open space. And if somebody hears about this once it's out in the public, because it will be made public after it goes through some of this, it'll be made public. And it will be public because these meetings are public where this stuff is going to be discussed. Uh, if people ask you about it, you can certainly you know start telling them it's a good deal. It is. It's in there that it's how, what the price is. It's it's cheap. It's you know it's a it's a good deal for the seventeen hundred and fifty dollars. Seventeen hundred and fifty dollars an acre, which is cheap. Um, you know it's contiguous to other open space, so it's nice greenway. And um, I mean, you can certainly talk it up that way. I that know. and you can certainly voice your own personal opinion. Um, I don't understand how you square that circle. What do you mean? We have to stay neutral, but... I don't understand it either, because we're a conservation commission, but... Advocates for it. Well, we just, um, it's, it's, maybe it's like a doctor, you know, you, you state the objective reality, and we're the people in the town <clears> that have that experience in, 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 in the information, mm -hmm. in the process. Um, one of the pieces that I... I'm going to care about still in Maryland. We talked a little bit about is the tax information. Um, the, I, I understand that the this commission that looked at it um, is making the case that it's good for the town because of it could save um, expenses that would accrue building uh, public works and yeah. education. Yeah. yeah. Um, Emergency uh, services, and that's something we can point out, right? That I, and I'm just always amazed that we can't just lay those numbers out and say that it would cost the town this much money if it was developed, yeah. and it would cost the town this much money if it wasn't developed. And this is what it would do to the mill rate. Yeah. I'm I'm just amazed that we can't just present those facts. As, I as why can't we? I don't know. I I've been told that we can't really do that. So a, a lot of that type of thing was discussed way back on some of the purchases where people would, you know, stand up and, and discuss, for instance, how much the average house paid in taxes and how much the education costs per student were. And right there, you could see what a huge savings open space is. Um, that, that doesn't sound quite right that we, we can't. I know, but well, that's why I'm going to push back on this and try to find out why we, yeah. why we can't lay those numbers out. Because those are just, to me, those are just facts. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not like we're, you know, we're just giving one side. We're giving both sides. And, and especially if, if new roads are involved that eventually will be taken over by the town, then that's additional infrastructure that's expensive every year. 
Right. And, and if you want development, there are places that are closer to the existing infrastructure. Right. That could be made into housing. Right. Well, it, it, and, and as you know, I included some of the information of that sort in, in the piece for the newspaper. But I did read it, yeah. Uh, I, I, I couldn't print it. I couldn't print it. I couldn't print it. I couldn't print it. I tried to print it. You know, in a month's time, it, it might be good to resolve that. Right, and I think... So we can get it <clears> out there in the public. And some of what you can write that could be more slanted can go out through the land trust. Yeah, I, I talked to Pete. Okay, Actually, good. that's where this comes in. Okay. Um, um, not that it's slanted, but... It's something that could sit on a table for those who are interested. Could be more persuasive, I suppose, is the better well, way. It's, it's. I mean, there could be, there could be a shorter. Um, we had some emails back. Then. <laughs> you were very helpful, and you sort of crowded me in that direction. Yeah, there could be a shorter <laughs> pamphlet kind of thing on a table, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know if this is the time for you to talk a little bit about this. Well, we'll talk about it at the oh. uh, yeah, so. Did you want to keep this? You can keep this because I have it electronically if you want. Oh, okay. It. Yeah. So. so, any other questions on that? Uh, I thought it was very well written. Did they make an assessment in here? I, I haven't read it recently um, on whether or not a road would be required. Well, there's already a, there was already a road, but there there would have to be an additional. It did say something in there. To develop it. Yeah. It would require. And it said how many houses would go in. Was it seven or seven to eleven? I think yeah, was the original. Yeah, seven to eleven. Yeah. But I didn't know if that was um, would be you know private drives, interior lots or yeah. You know, how it was. I don't think it went into great detail. It didn't. Yeah. Okay. All right. it, it gave two scenarios: without an, an additional road, a certain number, and with an additional road, that many more. I don't oh, recall okay. the exact numbers. Thanks so. for yeah. that. So the likelihood, because um, I was asking Rob if it, if it could stop anywhere along the way, like if somebody didn't, if let's say the Board of Finance decided not to approve it, it's unlikely because they approved going for the grant with the state. So why would they approve going for the grant if they didn't approve the eventual purchase mm -hmm. of it to begin mm -hmm. with? Um, so it's unlikely. I mean, it's it's possible that they could that an, uh, one of the boards could disapprove it along the way, but it's unlikely because they probably would have stopped it sooner. Um, because it will cost the town money to purchase it. What is what is the likelihood we'll get other grants? I thought I well, saw they there did were apply for applications we were going Yeah, they did apply for the Bafflin grant. They asked for thirty thousand. Um, they haven't heard back yet. So in Rockfall? I don't know if they I don't haven't heard that they applied for Rockfall oh. yet. What about like the Nature Conservancy? Nature Conservancy has no money. Mm. Okay. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> I just gave them a hundred dollars. <laughs> Audubon? Audubon Society? Audubon has even less. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, they gave. In fact, you know what I did? I went to... Um, uh, PBS, you know, and um, the PBS News Hour, and you know they have a list of all the donors at the yeah. beginning. Wow. I went through every single one of them <laughs> to see, and most of them give to um, to education or to health organizations. There were almost very few that give to um, to land conservation, and wow. the ones that do are very specific in what part of the country they give uh -huh. to. So I went through every single one of them. I spent hours <laughs> going through looking to see wow. if we could get grants. I, um, How do you like retirement? <laughs> <laughs> um, I wonder, uh, this is a, a, an errant idea, but uh, Amalia and I were hiking over in one of the line preserves today, the ravine trail. And um, you know, there's a lot of deep pockets over there. Yeah. And we're, you know, this is all one block of, of contiguous open space, it's, there's, there are no state lines or border lines really when, if you're mm -hmm. invested in the philosophy of open space. Uh -huh. So um, it might outreach 
see people who are in headline or old line. That yeah. also be a possibility. Who owns the house down by the ferry? I just recently learned who it is. I can't remember now, but it's like somebody that I, I Which ferry? Remember. The big house? Johnston? The down at the bottom, below Gillette, on our side, right next to the ferry. Oh, Steve, um, uh, Skip uh, Broom? Skip Broom, yeah. Yeah, it seems to me he might be someone who would invest. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask him. You know? I'll, I'll, ask I'll him. Yeah. I want to talk to him about that other idea we had. Ask him. Yeah, Go yeah. ahead, ask him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, if you have any, if you have any ideas, you know, yeah. definitely reach out to people. Eight Mile Committee updates. Um. Boy, I'm not prepared. <laughs> uh, I don't think anything comes to mind. I'm sorry. No. That's okay. No. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I heard about Pat Young. Right? Yeah, Pat Young's son. I don't know if you know Pat Young. Her son died. 28 years old. Yeah. Her son? Yeah. Yeah, he died. Uh, Suddenly. I know her husband was pretty ill. Yeah, no. Uh, he lived in Florida and died unexpectedly. So, sad. Yeah, very sad. Okay. Um, planting existing garden updates. I know you've been busy at Petrel. You got all those plants in? E yes. Um, on April 24th, um, John was there, it was a Saturday. Um, Susan Kinsman was there, and her son Nathaniel was there. And we spent about four hours getting them, getting them in. We probably got about 50, about 55 plants, I think, all told, put in. We're hmm. getting a credit bag of $80, and I've been on the CRCCD's case to get that back to us, but they need to have somebody come in Checks are made out, but they need somebody to come in the office and sign them off. But we didn't get the um, Black Eyed Susans. Okay. That was eighty dollars that we we had paid for. So we'll be getting it um, a check back for eighty dollars. And I told Sandy to send it to me, and I'll make sure that the Conservation Commission gets it. She'll make it out probably to the Conservation Commission, and then I'll, I'll pass it pass it off to you. Okay. Um, after we planted them and watered them, um, I went back a day or two later because I was concerned that somebody might want to come and cut that grass and all these plants that we put in would, you know, get the ax. So I went in on, on the low plants, like on the coneflowers and the sunflowers that are still, they'll be much taller, but right now they're small. I put stakes on either end, strung some fishing line and uh, put some uh, tape around it to mark where they were. On the individual plants, I took fluorescent tape and, and wrapped it around the highest branch I could on each of the plants. So hopefully, and then when um, well, Sue and I went back mm -hmm. yesterday and watered them before we got an inch and a half of rain. Right. <laughs> 1.8. 1. 1. 1. I, I, I measured was mine was 1.4. I knew there was a lot. But yeah, it was a lot of rain. Yep. A lot more rain than I was really counting on or expecting. Um, so uh, while we were watering them, while Sue was watering them, I was weed whacking the grass around the plants, again, to make them more visible to anybody coming through and trying to cut. So I don't know what the schedule is. And in fact, I was thinking maybe I should talk to whoever I don't think they mow there. responsible for that. They don't mow there. They mow the field. They don't mow there. They don't, well, they don't mow there yet, but at some point... I, I don't think, think they ever mow there. So we're just going to let that grass do its thing? And yeah, grow? I don't think they mow there. I don't think they've ever mowed there. Is that going to choke plants? Do we need to... Well, we're going to have to be uh, taking them. No, I think, I think what we were, we were talking about, Mulching. a couple we're of us were, we're getting some mulch. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You can get mulch delivered uh, for free because okay. these companies that are doing all the cutting, and, and you want the fresh cut. 
mulch, actually. We could take that and we could, um, as long as you leave enough space for the stem, that's fine, but we could use that to, to keep the grass down around, and that would also help with the visibility yeah. and with the moisture, right. moisture retention in the soil. Mm. So that's, that's a project that we still need to, need to work on. Um, and what about that water tank I told you that Rob has? Now, yeah, I don't have a full-size truck, so I've got a Tacoma. I don't, I don't know if that water tank would fill in there, and I, I really what about didn't. Rain I was barrels? hoping that we could get like whoever fills up the tanker over at the. That's uh, the fire department. They're not going to come and fill up our tank. They're not going to fill up the tank because I, I figure we probably need during the summer we'll probably need about fifty gallons a week. What? How we, big did I say that tank was? You said it was like 250 gallons. Yeah, so Rob has a tank that's fit 250 gallons, but somebody has to fill it up and get it there. I don't have a full-size pickup of Tacoma. I think it's got a longer bed than yours. Uh, yeah, but do you want to pump your well dry at 250 oh, gallons? Oh, I, um, I think the fire department's a full tank. Wondering if maybe we could use the pond water, and if we had like a, uh, we spent one hundred fifty dollars for a Harbor Freight dirty water pump. I have a pond at my Do you have a pump? I have a pump. Because if you can get a gas powered pump, you could pump water up from the pond into that tank. We could leave it there, and then the people who are assigned to watering, we've, we've got a schedule of people who are going to go and water every week. Um, could we, we rent be, I mean. Hauling that water from the pond. Well, how much does it cost to rent a pump? Oh, half a day, probably 50, 50 60 bucks. bucks. Uh, um, the, this I could probably find one. Or how about a rain of... barrels? How about rain barrels? Could we get rain barrels? Are they not big enough? No, we don't get enough rain. We're still going to need the where, water. Where are you going to situate this tank? When... Well, using gravity, I was thinking at the um, top of the top of the it to be a river, isn't it? Top of where? Runs through the bottom there. <laughs> yeah, it does. We can drive down there. We can take it right out. Can we take it out of the, the National Wildlife Area? <laughs> 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 That's probably not a question I'd really want to ask, you know? I, uh, probably I would not. take it out when we were using it for. Because we have that new plantation right close by. That would also. Just one of those trees. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't even know how. Uh, I haven't seen that tank that Rob has, so I don't know how that, where the spigot is on that. And that's supposed to be on a truck in order to use it, the spigot at the bottom. He and said you it, would just, he would, you would just leave it there at the place. So I don't think you'd Well, that would be good if, if, mm. if, it, if it would work, you know, because we can use, that, well, that's quite a slope there. Work. So we could, we could definitely use that to fill up buckets and, and, Oh, so you're filling up buckets and... Well, right. he said he was thinking about hooking up a hose to it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Oh, we, we could do that. That's what he was thinking. Hose. Yeah, you could adapt. A hose to would yeah. hose it if it's not a lot already. of hose to drag. I mean, that, that's a big, drag. big area. That's like a quarter of an acre. And look, I, I'm not giving you the perfect solution. You have to settle <laughs> with what you have. I'm it gets sorry. Gets you halfway there. <laughs> I want the perfect solution. <laughs> I'm sorry. A, a couple of a hundred feet or two hundred If you had the tank, you'd have to do something to too. If you had the big tank, you'd right? have to do something. I, you, I, so, yeah. you know, I'm just giving you what the best I can give you right now is a 250 gallon tank. So. so just, you have to settle for the best you can do. All right. Well, if Where you is want to tell tank? Rob to drop it off, we'll figure out how to get oh, it. Oh, it is. Yeah, it he has full. a tank. Yeah, tell him to drop it off full, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Want me to tow it down to my house? Or? Yeah, if you can. Okay. The burn. The tank. The tank. You have it? No, he can no, get it. No, it's at Rob's house. It's at Rob's house. Conceivably, we could fill it from the eight mile. I don't know if you could fill it in the eight mile. There. I don't think you could go there because they got stuff in the water, right? Don't they have things in the water, yeah. stuff that they're testing um, and stuff? I don't think you want to do that. Yeah. Maybe. My, my you could do it from that pond. Stream, don't we own part of that pond? We own that pond, I think. Part of that pond. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. we could oh, fill yeah. it from the yeah. pond. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. If you had a pump, that's a spring fed pond, yeah. yeah. And you could. I say if that's a 250 gallon tank and we need 50 <clears throat> gallons a week 
on days when we don't get, or weeks we don't get an inch and a half of rain, because some days or some weeks we're not going to need to. Right, right, so maybe. You... But if it's anything months. like it was last year, we're going to have to water every week because uh, things would right. happen. Two years Slightly ago. optimistic. I'm, you know, we're I'm at night, rain at night. night. <laughs> he went down to the pond and got water. That's the water that we initially wanted. Yeah, that's right. That's what we did. We had a wagon that had a big, like a a, a lobster, plastic lobster container in it that probably was like a 30 or 40 gallon container. And he pulled that along on the wagon to to bring it out so we could fill up our buckets. Keeps us young. Uh, Gary. (laughs) Yeah, maybe. You're a a voter, Gary. (laughs) Um, What's the biggest bilge pump you could... uh, you could rig up. Uh, bilge pump does. Uh, I'm thinking. What of is a, it? Eighty gallons an hour or something? I mean, it, eighty gallons an hour. Eighty gallons an hour. Yeah, you'd be there like for hours. They don't have anything bigger than that. That's a lot of well, I'm sure they do if you had a bigger boat, but I've never had one that big. But I'm just thinking. Uh, I'm pretty sure Harbor Freight has those dirty water pumps. They call them for about 150 bucks, and uh, it's gas operated, and once a month, I could go down, hook up a hose, put it in the top of the, the tank, and start it up. Fill up the tank, and we're good for a month. You want to take a collection? Or? Well, we could, <laughs> we have the money. We, I mean, if you think it's worthwhile well, uh, having them buy at a pump. Let me, I'll have to research it. I'll have to see, number one, if, if they still sell them, and number two, if they have any in stock and what they cost. But I'll, I'll take that. All right. On. I'll look at my forestry book when I get home. Too. And let's get a, let's get some mulch there too, so that we don't have to water as often. Okay. Okay. Let's I get a, that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. I have a question about the mowing part, though. Are we gonna that, that will, is going to be needed to be mowed? So do, are we responsible for that? Yeah. We are. They okay. never mowed that piece. They only but, mow the field. They right. don't. They but that's don't. a it's a newer piece. It's a newer piece. It's but been they've never years. mowed little things like that. Oh, okay. To them, that's right. too little. They use big, giant mowers. They so, don't, they're not going to go in there and mow. So the Phil doesn't of, have a water pump thing that we could we could periodically borrow. Oh, no. Well, where would we store it? It wasn't used for that. It wasn't used we for We bought water. it for the Conservation Commission. Where would we store it? At, at somebody's house? Yeah. Now, I've talked to Rob about getting a, a storage area at where they store the... Um, the equipment for the road, like the road crew, yep. where we could put things under lock and key. But we don't have anything right now. Okay. You wouldn't leave the tank there? The tank we would leave there. Yeah. Not, the, not the pump. pump. Okay. Yeah, the pump would, would go. Gary, can you mark out where, where you want the tank on that map? All right, and then the other thing we have to do is order labels for the plants because remember it's going to be wheelchair accessible right we want labels for the plants so i did a little bit of research but you could certainly do more i don't know who wants to do the research but i did found some garden markers we want nice ones at last so i found you want to do the research i'll look into it um can you I thought these were kind of cute. Mm-hmm. They come in different colors. Yep. You buy you buy pens. You can buy like white pen. To plastic. No, they're metal. And then you buy permanent marker. To... They buy permanent markers. You could buy a white marker to go on here. But there's plenty of other places you can buy them. But figure out about how many we'll need because we want them to be wheelchair height. For the new plantings? For the new plantings, right. yeah. The, the sure. existing... Two feet or something? I'm not sure. So about this high, maybe? So somebody could read them. So, right. yeah, two feet, maybe? <clears throat> Just as a side note, I had uh, I have uh, delivered meals on wheels, and I uh, have a customer that's in a wheelchair, uh, no arms, and a paraplegic uh, cane. And his wife took him out to Petrel. Oh, yeah? He had a ball. Oh, really? He went all the way down to the bridge. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> he, oh, nice. He said he hasn't gotten up to those speeds <laughs> <laughs> ever. Oh, that's <laughs> so great. In his wheelchair, yeah. 
I'm hoping oh, we can have nice. a grand opening ceremony there, maybe in like the end of the summer, maybe. Yeah. I, where do you think it'd be big? Maybe the sooner. pollinator garden will be pretty at the end of the well, summer. Well, that's what I'm hoping. The pollinator yeah. garden, and then this yeah. garden will be up a little bit, mm -hmm. so we can. It'll be really pretty, and we can have a grand opening. A lot of things June, came June, back. June. Everything came back. June, June might peak. be too soon. June. Oh, June is but peak. June might be too soon for a big for a crowd. Was it sure? August. So maybe August or September. No. I was thinking for yeah. a like grand like, opening. Yeah. Yeah. Be nice to have it there, because we want to invite probably our state senators so and our state representatives and stuff. Well, as near as I can they make out from that map, the, um, it's a pretty, pretty small-scale map. map. Yes. Uh, that labels everything. If we yeah. can, if we can, yeah. If we and then with, the, with our new garden, with having the, the plant there, markers would be nice, too. I've had shots, yeah. You know? So this is the kiosk here. Mm hmm So it's just, well, I want it, I want it up a little bit, okay, because we have plants all the way around here and here. Mm. Okay, but I want to be close to the pond as well, because you don't want it to work the pump too much. You don't want to burn it out the first time you use it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But I think uh, the best thing to do would probably be to go there with the tank, see what it looks like and how we can, how, we, how it will work for people. Because several of the people who are going to be doing the watering are women. Oh, you know. please. I, I was looking Don't say what you're going to say. Uh, I'm just be saying, careful. you know, There's, it's... Just uh, be it's, careful. It's, just be careful. No, All right, two so... five-gallon buckets are eight, eight, 80 pounds, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's a heavy, heavy work, heavy lifting. Yeah. You know? Women don't have the shoulder strength that men do. It's just the nature. So you of take the, you have more trips with smaller buckets. That's all. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's you would right. need to do that. For me, I got a bad knee. Less trips with heavier buckets, better for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for the figure out how many plant labels we need, mm -hmm. and then which ones you think are good, and then we'll get them ordered. Question: I, I wouldn't probably spend a whole lot of money on them because the concern I have is the same concern we had with the Lena um, plaque, which, by the way, is still there, Bernie. Oh, good. The Lena, Lena. Great. So oh. we're not going to put them so close to the edge. We're going to put them farther in. Yeah, but I'm saying if someone walks by and says, "Oh, I like that," well, they're not that expensive. Anyway, okay. yeah, that's, yeah that's they're good. not that expensive. I'll go for the least. They're pretty like, reasonable. Yeah. So, like the ones they have at the Connecticut College Arboretum are gorgeous. And they're like uh, like aluminum, like cast aluminum. They're probably like 20, 30 bucks a piece. Oh, these aren't that. These are, you could buy like 10 for $15 or something. I would say use, use the common name and then maybe the scientific yeah, name. Yeah, you're going to help with that. Yeah, I'll help yeah. you with okay. that. I have a list yeah. of the plants. Good, okay. Uh, I did also want to mention that I am supposed to be meeting with the uh, latest Master Gardener intern tomorrow to put in the swampy area plants. Okay. okay. The swamp azalea, I got three swamp azaleas. Okay. And uh, I still need five more. I still need a bunch of plants. Right. Uh, maybe maybe we'll, that'll happen in the fall. Um, and the, um, the spice bush, uh, the okay. five spice bushes. Okay. And they go down, and uh, as you and Rob said, you wanted them on the other side, right? Down close to the swamp. Now, should we go beyond where the black uh, erosion control yes. stuff is, or yep. should we? Can we pull that out now, since it seems like the construction is oh, done? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, let's pull yeah, it so out because it's so out. ugly. Yeah. Okay, well, this guy needs hours, so you know I'm hoping to get him also in the rotation for watering. Okay. Um, and he said he used to work as a landscaper, so that. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. And and um, order extra other labels too, so you know, so we have plenty extra in case we need them for future. Okay. So we. Uh, and we did get the grant. I did get the grant yep. from uh, the Master Gardener Association. Right. The Connecticut Master Gardener Association, and I, I used used a hundred of that to pay for the uh, three. Uh, swamp azalea. Okay. Got. I got it acers, and I'm going to be calling them on Thursday to see if they can get us more. I already called them, but they said, "Well, we'll know better next week." So, okay. Uh, and they were thirty-two dollars, which was 
the cheapest I've seen them, and, and the plants are about this high. Oh, nice, wow. Nice plants. Nice. nice. Um, well, what else? Uh, I, think, I think that was it. That was it for the planting. Uh, all the red dozer dogwoods came up. They're all open. They're leafing out. Hmm. Uh, so I'm assuming as long as we keep them watered, and several of us have plots over there, so we'll we'll be keeping an eye okay. on those. Um, Are we still at Petrel? Sorry? Are we still at Petrel? Yes. Your dogwoods? No, no, no. Now we're at Harris. Harris. The red oh. doze years are, there's 25 red doze years. We've got in a nursery. Oh, that's right. Those are at Harris. Yeah. Uh, we just need to find, you know, where to put them come fall. Oh, okay. Good. So, I don't know, is you, you got anything else, Sue? Nope, my lasagna garden's ready to be planted, and I'm going to plant the sunflowers for the community, mm. Unity Community, Community Unity Sunflower Project. Okay. Yep, and mm. so, so no. do you okay. need cardboard boxes? I have a bazillion. I've been saving them all year um, for the lasagna garden. I might take a few. I might take a few, but not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got my layers down, and things are go going She's good. Oh. I know. <laughs> well, if you want to stop by sometime and take a look, you know, I've got a okay. bunch. Uh, Todd said probably the ones that have too much color on them, nobody would want, so I, I didn't save many of them. But I have a lot that would probably be suitable. Okay. Yeah. I'll stop by and check them out. You've got my phone I've number. I've got your e email and phone number, yeah. Yeah. What made this? 860? 860-873-8221. Mm -hmm. Okay. By the way, the, the uh, transfer station will be having a special um, place to put cardboard boxes oh. soon. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. Because I've been waiting for it, because I have a ton of cardboard boxes myself. <laughs> I know. It seems a shame to throw them away. I know. Yeah. So they're going to be having a special bin to put just cardboard boxes in, good. which is about time. So yeah, yeah that's a good. Yeah. Good, yeah they're waiting addition. for a new bin, I guess. Anything else, Gary or Susan? No, nope. that's, that's, that's it. Okay, mm. great. So you know, and you got a new, you got a new uh, you, leaf blower. A leaf blower. Did everybody know we got a new leaf blower? I've seen it in action. Yes. It's pretty powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Just gas or battery? Gas, steel. Yeah. yeah. Nice unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used it to blow off the Lefebvre trails, and uh, it worked mm -hmm. excellent. It was good. Okay, new bills. We have none. Um, anything else? I know we have um, John's thing coming up. Uh, public comment, we've had nothing coming in. I don't know if anyone's watching, but you could send in comments, ccchiaritiesadam.org. Our next meeting it is... Say on the wall if anybody's watching? Or I don't know. How do you tell I me? I don't know. You'd have to log in, I think. Yeah, Just never mind. <clears throat> um, next meeting is Tuesday, June 1st. And other discussion. John, you're up. Okay. Um, well, to this um, piece kind of news um, piece for the conservation conversation will um, explore the value of open space, the meaning of open space. Um, uh, in the past, and, and right up to the O'Connell property, um, um, when I did the value of it, I really am intrigued by the entire history of open space um, and I wanted to share that with people that were you know we come here tonight even from a long tradition we, this doesn't happen out of a vacuum you know that um, I in, the, in this longer piece which um, I, I'd like to give each of you a copy and I'll be happy for your for your critique I um, I go back to the earliest European um, settlement of North America, um, and um, and even uh, the indigenous experience of the land. Um, and in the middle of there somewhere, I also talk about John Muir and the Sierra Club. Um, it's um, here. I'll, I'll hand a few of these out. Um, oh, this way, I'll hand them down. Yeah. Um, 
song. Yeah, I have one. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, they, they were, you know, this is sort of the, the first day of this. It's from my Thank long you. youth in the Sierras. I Thanks. spent a lot of, of my early, earlier years hiking in the, on the John Muir trails. And, um, uh, but, uh, so I have a, and then I, I was at Standing Rock, um, you know, the, um, the pipeline, um, protests in 2016 and the end there with the American experience of the land um, and, and my, some of my uh, journal that. But, so it's a little bit personal, a little bit philosophical. It's sort of a deconstruction of, of the whole you know, experience through the eyes of um, history, um, you know, including I did some research in the history of, of the Massachusetts Bay Colony of Connecticut, um, and and also um, through literature, through some of the um, the great works of American literature, like um, uh, James Fenimore Cooper, Leather Stocking Tales. I love those. Pardon? I love those. Yeah. <laughs> and and also um, and, and and a little bit of Huck uh, Finn and, and the experience of the frontier and. And, and also the experience of the indigenous people, um, and um, highlighting, highlighting a, a, a trilogy of novels by a Pennsylvania writer um, who's really excellent. If you if you're a reader and you haven't come across Conrad Richter, wrote a trilogy of documenting the the movement from Pennsylvania into Ohio, Ohio Valley, um, in the um, in the late 18th, 1700s and the early. Um, um, the first book is called The Trees, the second book is called The Fields, and the third book is called The Town. Um, but in, in, in all, I try to weave in this concept that's so American that we have a social contract. I mean, it comes from the philosophers of the Enlightenment, um, Jean-Jacques Rousseau and, and Locke and Berlin, who directly influenced, uh, I have listed a lot of books that were in Thomas Jefferson's library, um, and that idea of the commons um, was very strong, that uh, uh, if you looked at that, that, that the government was not going to be despotic, that it was going to be really for everyone, and that the needs of everyone would be concerned, and there was going to be land for everyone. In England, they had enclosed the medieval commons where people grazed, and, and that led to a migration here. Um, in the, uh, the 1600s or the 1700s. Um, and there were commons in New England villages that had common ground for grazing. And then in our time, the commons has really become uh, a much broader concept that includes our right, again, this is, these are enlightenment ideas, the rights of man, you know, our right to land, our right to air, our right to water. Um, and these are fundamental rights. And, and, uh, they're good for the, the whole society. And that's what people like yourselves and those of us that are committed to, to preserving um, the land. And then America is one of the great examples. And it was, it was um, then um, picked up worldwide, you know, national parks everywhere in the world now. But they really began with, with our system. So it's, it's very American. You know, it's, it's, um, and you know, just how we translate that into a campaign for people to <coughs> maybe pony up some money in the town, um, it's tough. <laughs> so anyway, I won't say any more, except um, you know, I'm happy to get feedback, and this will, I talked with Pete uh, about this, and the land, we may put something like this, this is, I revise my things all the time, and um, uh, at some point, maybe in the next month or so, another version of this may come up. I was even thinking of maybe printing up a little booklet like East Haddam um, Historical Society has a little booklet on the history of the town. Mm -hmm. Why not have a little history on the on the open space of the town? That's you know, a good how idea. it came to be. Who, um, you were talking about um, the, the eight mile um, improvement. 
wildlife management, yeah. Pardon? Yeah. The eight mile wildlife eight management mile. being yeah. the first piece and, that really. You know, it would be interesting to know, to, to, to keep it in some sort of permanent record. That yeah. This, this is, people come here because of the marvelous opportunities and resources of this sort. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Thank you so much for this. You're and how do you want comments? Email. Email? Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As I say, it's, 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 it, it, this may not be the exact, you know, uh, best vehicle uh, for um, what's going on. I don't know. I mean, it could be on a, on a land trust table or something like that, and people see it and think, oh, it's kind of interesting. It might be for some people worthwhile, um, or it may morph and it could morph into something else. And it's a little more specific. I like to write, and I once I get my teeth into things. Um, I'm actually, uh, the reason why this came rather flowed is I'm working on a, a, a novel set in the, in the 18th century. Um, Actually, here, it turns out that I have ancestors of this. I'm a, I'm a Spencer um, from Rhode Island, but you know, the connection between Rhode Island and the state where the Spencers came out. Um, my, first, my first American ancestors was Susanna Spencer from East Greenwich, Rhode Island. Isn't that uh, Millington Green? Isn't it a Spencer? Yeah, yeah, Joseph Spencer, Green? General. Was, yeah, he was, he was part of the. Trail bands that fought in the French and Indian War. And I talk about that in here. Huh. The history is alive. You know, this is such an historical place. And I feel like I've come home in a way. Hmm. Um, I return to the place where there are Spencers in, in the Hadline area where I live. You know. huh. A little cemetery down from uh, right of my town. So I'm actually writing about um, a sort of transatlantic family. Um, in in the between 1744 uh, and just after the revolution, through a woman's eyes, a journal of a woman. Anyone get tarred and feathered? Pardon? Anyone get tarred and feathered? <laughs> well, um, yeah. Um, um, <coughs> one of the one of the BBs got feathered, tarred and feathered. You know, yes. The um, there's a lot of that here too. Yeah, yeah. So, human beings. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anything else? All right. I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay. Thank you very much. It's good to see everybody. Thank yes. You. Nice to see everybody. It almost feels like another raspberry bar grabber. Real life. <laughs> uh, it almost feels like real life, I see. Real life. Yeah, yeah.